I'm just going to work on a bit of the fur, do a little demonstration on this cheek area here, just to see a bit more of how coloured fur will work on drafting film. The tiger has a bit of a cheekbone here, as well as the fur change in colour. So I'm going to use light grey one, warm grey one, sorry. I'm looking at my reference photo, not concentrating. Just very lightly in the direction of the fur because I want to lighten the yellow, the light yellow ochre a little bit. It's too strong for this colour here. Warm grey one works really well to lighten these um, warm orange and ochre colours. I'm just going to come in very, very lightly. As I said, the drafting film is very sensitive to pressure. I've got to give the impression of the um, fur turning, so the direction of the fur is very important here. Just work my way up. I see the light yellow ochre as the underneath lightest colour, so I'll start with that. Just here, I'll just get a little bit stronger with the colour, so it'll just be straight yellow ochre. Again, another cheekbone that we're rising up to the, the bow, so the stroke directions change. There's a bit of a black spot just there as well, it's roughly there, just pop him in first. at a nice base as well. I don't want to worry about too much detail at this stage. This is just getting our base colours in and because this is very, very light, we can um, add quite a few more layers on top of this. That just gives us a bit of an indication of colour. Now I'll go to burnt ochre next just to make this more of an orange colour. And again the strokes are short, but I'm going to leave a little bit of the yellow showing here and there. So 
so that it comes through. Slightly heavier pressure here because we want this a little bit darker on this this eye ridge here. I think now just to get and darker and show you how the layers work. This is burnt ochre. Um, sorry, burnt sienna. This is just the base layers and you, you're going to need a lot more and come in then with your detail but I'm just showing you how the colours, how to layer it. Now for this black here, this is where I'd go back to the Kaput Morton Violet and start making the shape with the, with the black and just refine those shapes. I just find that the Kaput Morton Violet works well as it merges in to the um, warmer colours, the burnt sienna, rather than the blue or the black. So I just go over that with black now. few little spots and then come back in with oops burnt sienna Then just, it's just a matter of continuing to just build up those layers across till you get the right values and the right colour. And if it's not correct, you can just pull a bit out with your slice tool or the eraser. And this is quite fast. Um, but it's giving you an idea, you can see already that's um, taking shape. Um, so that's pretty much how you would continue to work and build up the fur. And it's, um, so I said, it's a lovely, lovely surface. If you want to, you know, make some more defined hairs, just very gently. 
very very receptive to your pencil so it works um, beautifully so there's a darker spot here you can just gently build up that darker edge there like so and that certainly makes that um, area look round I just finished down here so that it's finished. A few more spots to put in. There you are, so I hope you um, get to play with your drafting film and enjoy it because it is a, a lovely surface. If you find some colours are softening off a bit too much, by all means just turn it over if you have the double mat and use the reverse side to deepen the colours. But um, you know, experiment and enjoy it. <laughs>